you're having problems launching your server, your Minecraft server through a bat file to have more RAM, or you're having issues launching command prompt commands through bat files, here's the solution. What I did before, which works, but it's not recommended, is I co took a copy of the original command prompt. So I went to the main folder, which you have to go all the way through the properties files, and you have to find the folder, and this one's actual location is my desktop. But the original is in, like, System 32 or something like that. So um, there's tons of ways to figure it out. But the problem is your what you saved your file as. And it, you go, well, I did what the direction said. Well, Microsoft Windows 10 has its own way of thinking things. If you put it in as a .bat file with all files, if your encoding is anything but ANSI, you're not going to be able to run a command prompt line. Uh, it'll pop it up, but then command prompt will crash because it doesn't understand the encoding. Now well at least for this system mine was in Unicode which is for redoing registry stuff and stuff that's within Microsoft itself not Java related things not other programs so if you're having problems getting programs to launch through a bat file it's check this check your encoding um, and it'll help it's not just for Minecraft servers but it'll work for Minecraft servers and it'll work for other things like um, trying to run code for a, say you got a streaming setup. You want, you want to run all these applications at one time with one click. Well, if that's wrong, Command Prompt isn't going to launch all of those programs. So, but now as you can see, if I click on it, it opens command prompt, command prompt sticks around, and then it fires up the server. So, if you have an issue like that, this is the solution. But please share my video, it's not just about Minecraft servers, it's for anything that has to do with Microsoft. But for some reason, when I did a registry file, which I only did once, and I had to save it in a Unicode uh, it automatically made it so all of my projects got saved in Unicode and I didn't realize that that wasn't something that I even looked into it took me three weeks to figure it out so if this helped you leave the like um, give me a comment down below telling me if it worked for you if it didn't we'll see if we can figure it out and also share with your friends uh, let everybody know if you know somebody's having an issue just let them know and uh, please subscribe for cool videos like this. I do this kind of stuff every now and then when I figure out something. Or I also do gaming videos and I'll be starting a new channel where I do repair videos on vehicles. Um, so check that one out. And then I'm also going to be starting another channel for ghost hunting. So if you're into ghost hunting and you want to see some cool stuff there, that's the channel for you. But uh. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for joining me. Peace out.